Let's talk about Arthur Smith and the Atlanta Falcons. This team is currently four and five. In the last few weeks, their defense has let them down. But it's a lot of things that are not going right with this team. I don't know why. I really don't understand. When you have B. John Robinson and Tyler Algier, and B. John Robinson gets 11 carries on the day for 52 yards. Only 11 carries. And I understand he fumbled a few weeks ago, and he fumbled today. But that happens. And why Tyler Algier only has 12 carries. Obviously, you have a talented backfield. And the offense line is solid enough to get a push up front. Early in the season, they're running the football at a high clip. And they had a lot of wins when they were able to go out there and run the football at a high clip. Desmond Ritter was putting this team behind. It's time to stop blaming the quarterbacks. Last season, they blamed Marcus Mariota. This season, Desmond Ritter got the blame, and he got benched in favor of Taylor Heineke. Now, Taylor Heineke came in. He didn't look phenomenal, but he looked real solid in this game. He had 38 pass attempts. He was 21 for 38, 268 passing yards, one touchdown, one interception, only got sacked once. His pocket presence is way better than Desmond Ritter. Half it. Half of that is because he is a veteran and he's been around the NFL for so long. But it's the way that Arthur Smith doesn't use his players effectively enough. I understand that Drake London was out for this game. But you have Cordero Patterson, who was a top rushing threat last season with this team. And he can also do some damage in the receiving game as well. Now, he's not a true number one or a true number two wide receiver. But you could put him in a slot and he can cause some damage. I just don't understand the execution of plays that Arthur Smith is going for. Then he's going to come in in the press conference with the police state trooper mustache saying, I don't care about your fantasy team. That doesn't matter. What matters is going out there and getting wins. So whether you give Tyler Algier 20, 25 carries, you only give B. John Robinson 10 carries, as long as you win and it's effective, that's all that matters. But right now you're not winning football games. And it's because of the play calling Arthur Smith. And you can't just put it all in the defense for the last few weeks because the defense has been able to go out there and carry this sorry offense on this back. That's what it's been able to do. And I'm not talking about the players being sorry. I'm talking about the system being sorry that Arthur Smith is calling up because it is no way that you have a receiving tight end like Kyle Pitts and he's blocking in the red zone for a guy in Johnu Smith who was very solid in the receiving game, but he's more of the smash mouth tight end. That's why you brought him over. It seems like they're going back to what he did when he was with the Tennessee Titans, when John Smith had a career year with him. He's basically neglected Kyle Pitts in general in, in favor of John Smith, while Kyle Pitts is a more explosive tight end and can make bigger plays for you in the receiving game. But the way that they have misused him the last few years has been criminal. And I understand last season he got injured with a PCL injury, but even before that injury, they were not using him effectively enough. They were using him as a blocking tight end. And that is on coaching. And Drake London had a solid season last season. This season, he's been having a very good rapport with Desmond Ritter. They still do not use him effectively enough. That comes down to coaching. And the clock management has been terrible as well. You can't put this on someone else like they're calling plays. Arthur Smith is the offensive play caller for this team. And he has been for the last couple of seasons. They need to let him go. But in this game, it did come down to the defense, letting them down. Josh Dobbs had a phenomenal play late in the game. He threw a game-winning touchdown to the wide receiver. It's basically busted coverage. They were already close in the red zone. It was just a good play for Josh Dobbs. I don't want to take anything away from the Minnesota Vikings and away from him because he came in on this team on short notice, and he balled out today. But at the end of the day, it is ridiculous that the Falcons were in this situation. That interception definitely did them in. And also that fumble as well by B. John Robinson. But also, if you were able to save some timeouts and be able to go out there and get some better decisions to convert on some third and twos and some third and threes, instead of just throwing the football with Tyler Heineke and running the football with your star running backs, you would have been in a better situation. And you can't say that those guys are not having a good day besides B. John Robinson fumbling the football. He averaged 4.6 yards a carry in this game. And Tyler Algier averaged 3.3 yards a carry in this game. If you give these guys more carries, they'll be able, to out there, be able to go out there and do some things for you. He's putting too much stress on the quarterbacks. And I have been a guy in the past that spoke very highly of Desmond Ritter and also gave him some criticism as well. One thing I can't say about Desmond Ritter, besides his pocket presence being bad and him being indecisive with the football, the run game was not there to help him out the last couple of weeks because for whatever reason, Arthur Smith just had his mindset on this. We are a passing team no matter what. And today it showed you were not a passing team with you missing your top wide receiver in Drake London. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel about the Atlanta Falcons? Am I tripping over the Arthur Smith thing? Does he deserve to finish out the 
season. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last one, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Peace.